And now, Cap gave you first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Kristen Walls. We're getting closer and closer towards the end of the work week, and we're seeing some finally uh, some improvements to that air quality out there. Uh, temperature, or I should say, we're sitting in at uh, 618 right now, getting uh, getting ready to change over to 618. Uh, we will see even more improvements to that air quality as we head into the upcoming weekend, as we'll have a few changes and a weather system moving in here that will impact us for the weekend as well. So here's a live look. This is in downtown Yakima right now, starting to get a little bit lighter outside. But here's the air stagnation advisory that we have in place. Uh, in Washington, this will go until noon tomorrow. So Yakima, Hanford, Tri-Cities, Walla Walla, uh, that air stagnation advisory until noon tomorrow. But they have extended the advisory for Hermiston, Pendleton, Ione. Uh, that will go until noon on Tuesday. So early next week, uh, they're thinking that the air quality will remain poor, moderate to poor, as you'll be headed into early next week. So here are the changes that we already have out and about. If you remember yesterday, day before that, we had that pocket of some unhealthy air back around the Yakima Valley that has improved. Uh, as a matter of fact, around Yakima and Toppenish this morning, your air quality is good to go. Around the Tri-Cities, Pendleton, Hermiston, you still have some moderate air quality uh, very early this morning. A little bit of some patchy freezing fog can't be ruled out as well. Visibilities around Hermiston uh, down to near four miles this morning. Bundle up. You'll see numbers right now. Most locations below that freezing mark. Once again, 25 in Ellensburg, 26 in Yakima with 24 degrees uh, in the Tri-City. So we will see a nice warm up today as the sun comes up, but I do think we'll have some high clouds uh, moving through from time to time today, and that could uh, be one of the noticeable changes that we'll have around the area. But pretty quiet as far as the wet weather goes around the Pacific Northwest. Uh, that ridge of high pressure is still in place, and that'll be with us for uh, the day on Friday as well. As you'll see here, the timestamp taking us out until 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Still looking at that mostly sunny sky, but we could actually have a rain chance in here as we head into Saturday. So there's a look at Saturday morning, maybe a few stray showers popping up. Won't last long. I think we'll go back to uh, still a mostly cloudy sky, but drier conditions for your Saturday afternoon and a partly sunny skies in the forecast for Sunday. So overall, the weekend looking mainly dry, but can't rule out that isolated rain shower popping up early Saturday morning. Travel forecast. Now, if you're heading into Seattle this weekend, slight chance for a few rain showers to pop up Saturday and Sunday. Notice those high temperatures all weekend long will be in the upper 50s, even down into Portland. More cloud cover out there Saturday at 60. Some peaks of some sunshine by Sunday at 61 and not a bad forecast as well for Spokane. Mostly sunny sky out there tomorrow at 54 and then more clouds around for your Saturday at 53. So today's forecast here locally, we're going to be up to 54 in Yakima with 53 in Ellensburg. 51 in the Tri-Cities with 53 in Prosser and Hermiston and the low 50s as well for Walla Walla and Pendleton. So overnight tonight, maybe a little bit of some patchy freezing fog developing. Numbers falling below that freezing mark. Seven day forecast this weekend. Stray shower early on Saturday. Partly sunny sky by Sunday and then Veterans Day on Monday. Much cooler there with a high of 47. Another stray shower possible by Tuesday. And then that seven day forecast for Yakima we will have more clouds. Stray shower in here on Saturday morning. I'm partly sunny sky by Sunday at near 60 degrees.